Hi everyone, I am here I'm down in East Cork um, at Gary Vaux and um, this is where um, Marie um, has her photography studio. So you can see the fabulous view. There was a snowstorm literally five minutes ago but um, she's in such a beautiful scenic picturesque spot and I'm just at the door so I'm going to sneak in because she's in the middle of a little shoot at the moment so I'm going to go in very quietly and I'll just give you a sneak peek. at some little shoots that she's done before. This is just to show you the vast range of themes that Amory can do and the colors. I mean, these are absolutely amazing. And the little knits and the blues and pinks, yellows, greens. You can do it with a little baby brother or sister. Don't be turned off if you've twins or triplets. Anne Marie, the baby whisperer, can handle it. If you wanted to get a pregnancy shoot, that's gorgeous. Throw them into baskets, on towels. Oh, that's gorgeous. And she can even recreate magical fairy forests. That's a beautiful backdrop. So she's so, so many backdrops, so many colors. So it's just, you can have a look on her Facebook page just to get more ideas and inspiration. And this is Amory. Say hi. This is Amory at work with baby Leisha. Oh, she is gorgeous. This is Yvonne, the beautiful mother of the beautiful baby. How old is she, Yvonne? She's two weeks. Just two weeks old. Fifteen days. Thirteen days. And how has she been for you? She's been. She's been very good. Brilliant. Her whole session is fabulous. Is it really? How do you get them to stay in the positions and... Once they're nice and relaxed and Yvonne has been feeding her away um, and you keep the heat out of them, I keep them nice and, and, and relaxed and there's no problem. And even propped up here underneath, I've got... This is a bean she's bag. Gorgeous. And you have a bean and bag? And there's a bean oh, bags wow. underneath. So she's extremely so comfortable. And you just have to make sure they're 100% comfortable and relaxed. I think she thinks she's still in the womb. It's so yeah. warm and comfortable in here. And some of the positions that I put her into uh, are the legs tucked up and the hands and they feel like they're back in the womb. And okay. we use the white noise and we use the white noise earlier. Because that's their well. natural position, exactly. so they're really comfortable in that yeah. position. Sure, I remember yeah. from being here with um, yeah. with Harry not so long ago, and you've all the gorgeous all little, the outfits. little outfits. Are they all the ones that you use for the shoot? Are... These are all the ones for the newborn babies, yeah. Oh, wow. and so you can literally choose your own colours. Yeah, Did you exactly. Did you have a certain theme in mind, um, Yvonne, that you wanted to? No, to go? we were here. Um, my little boy up there so. Oh, that's your little boy. <laughs> so we were here two years ago with us. So. Oh, so you're, you're a dab hand, so you, you knew what to expect. Yeah. Well, that's, that's yeah. a great testimonial to Amory, the fact that you're coming back again. You're just a small bump unborn, in four months you're brought to life.
little chat with Amory after your shoot, which, mm -hmm. uh, how long did the, the shoot take all together? That shoot we were almost three hours. Anyway. Three hours, yeah. wow. Mm -hmm. God, that's Nor amazing. The average would be two to three hours. Um, but no problem, you can get it done in two hours as well. Uh, it depends on the baby and how much the baby feeds, whether the baby is bottle for, fed or breastfed. So you're very flexible, there's no, no pressure problem. with time There's no pressure, or... no. I always give enough time um, between shoots and everything so that the mother and the baby feels nice and relaxed and that they're not... Well, I can vouch for that because <laughs> I was here myself for probably four and a half hours that day with the three of them, my God. Yeah, yeah. and when there's siblings involved, it, it tends to go over yeah. time as well because... Yeah, you have to allow, and I don't charge extra for siblings because no, I think yeah. it's very important to include them. Even though, yeah, you, so you might the be time does that. go, the time <laughs> does you go have, over. Have the wild <laughs> siblings, because that's another thing I wanted to mention that that Amory does the, the sibling photography or I suppose any relations, anyone who wants to come along, you can yeah. kind of include them. Do, yeah. do you normally try to keep it to a, to a minimum though, the studio, you have a lovely yeah, size it's, studio. Yeah, it's, it's small, so like it would be generally siblings rather than extended. Sometimes the nana comes along though and, yeah, and, exactly. and gets included in, in a shop Fair with enough. the baby, you know. And another question, because I know that everyone would want to know, when should they book in a session with you? Because I know, well, I know you're extremely busy, yeah. I know, which is fantastic, well done. Thank but um, should they book in advance, obviously when they're expecting the baby, is yeah. it as early as Possible. As early as possible after their first scan and um, and they have a date, it's a good time to contact me, get prices okay. off me and information, have a chat about what you want, and then I can I can put you into the diary. Generally I put people into the diary about ten days to two weeks after their due date. Okay, just but I only take a certain amount of bookings every week. Fair and enough. I okay. won't maximise it so that those that are booked in advance get priority in Fair if, if the baby comes early or late that they're guaranteed their session because yeah. they're has, the most important. Uh, nobody yeah. has a due date. You can't, obviously, as you know Tell from exactly. experience. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, especially with twins and triplets because, you know, they could go a bit earlier. Yeah. And, and the other the other thing was for babies, you kind of want to get the baby uh, photographed really early on. So what would be yeah. the maximum, age, or the, the oldest age before the baby gets really active and with moving? I would advise, uh, normally I would say under 10 days, but I'd advise on under 14 days is still okay. Under 14 and days. And after okay. that time, there's no guarantee. You may have a very relaxed baby, and uh, as your baby was at three weeks, we got lovely shots. Well, we did get lovely we shots. Did. I don't know how relaxed he was. I think it was your touch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it really does depend on the baby okay. after that. So okay. I would advise people that if if they're coming with their baby later, there's no guarantee of getting those Certain sleepy shots, yeah. uh, newborn uh, poses. But even shots. actually, because that that's a good point that even if you don't get the really sleepy shots, you'll still get other shots. And you know, some people yeah. might want shots that where the baby's wide awake. Yeah. It's just I suppose the newborn photography is what you specialize in with the little positions yeah, and that they're relaxed because when the baby is awake their hands and feet move an awful lot. So yeah. they may be, you know, their hands going up into their face, blocking their mouth and stuff like that. So of it's, course, it's yeah. the more relaxed they are, the, the better, the better that you can, you can yeah. chill out, relax with their hands. And you get to choose then stuff. from all the yeah. gorgeous outfits as well. And I must, I must show the little the outfits for the boys as well. And um, so for everyone to get in contact with you, I suppose, Facebook with Facebook all um, information. or uh, amcphotography.ie is okay. my website. I'll have all the details up at the end. And the blog just to have. amcphotographycork at gmail.com is my um, email, email address. address. And you, and you basically, they'll email, they can just get some information off you. Yeah. There's no obligation. No obligation. We'll go from there. And right. I, I don't take deposits for newborn sessions either. Oh, very um, good. I prefer to, you know, the, have them booked in and get the information from them. I could okay. take their phone number and stuff. Oh, but I won't, great, I won't yeah. actually take a deposit for the newborn sessions, you know, so people can, they, they can uh, kind of contact me afterwards. Exactly. Once the baby is born, we'll get in touch then again. Brilliant. Oh, and, and, and arrange a time for the session. Great. Know. And one last question just for anyone who's interested in the, the finished products then as well. I'm definitely going to I'll showcase mm -hmm. a couple of the products at the end. But do you do, is it mainly albums? Is it canvases or what would be... Ma mainly frames and, frames and canvases. Frames and canvases. Yeah, I do have albums available. I have photo books available. Um, uh, and I have new products coming um, in the next couple of weeks, really, Great. that will be online as well. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, just alternative uh, framing, actually. It's it's really nice. So you do, um, you do the framing yourself then? And you so can send the frame, them, yeah, I get them done professionally. I outsource them. So, right. um, but everything is, you know, done through here. So everything is collected from here as Fantastic. well. Fantastic. And you um, also throw an eye over yeah, the Yeah, the, the uh, frames is obviously the, the most popular. And the most popular frame that I have would be a large square 
square one where I would do a collage of oh, maybe four, five, six images from the session. The hardest thing to do, I think, well, I know from a parent is to pick yeah. photos. You just want them all. Yeah. So, and how many photos? Yeah. You, you different packages, obviously, for different amount of photos, but obviously parents can choose as many as they want and, yeah. and you basically can... Add, I, exactly. And so my cur current package um, is uh, 15 images um, that people pick. 15, and that's 15 that's good, exactly. Yeah, choice. If they want extra, they can purchase extra afterwards, afterwards which um, is no problem at all. Um, but for the 15 images, they get on a USB key, so they have full copyright, so they can reprint that's them as many times as they want. That's They're fantastic. completely fully edited. I'd spend about 30 minutes per image editing. It'll take so, that long. Yeah, so I, I would, you know, put an, an awful lot of TLC into Because I remember with Harry, them. it was the flaky feet, that the yeah. skin, and you had to go onto each. Exactly, detail. exactly. So you, you'd work. have little milk spots and exactly the flaky skin. Uh, they might have a little scrawl that they've given themselves. Anything like that would yeah. be all taken all away. So airbrushed. The baby airbrushed. looks exactly <laughs> the same, but the skin is is just smoothed exactly, out. Exactly, yeah. I suppose, I mean, that, that's, what, that's what you're paying for, in yeah. the extra touch-ups. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Fantastic, and I'm yeah. delighted. Thanks a million for talking to no us problem. today. I'm not going to touch them, Marie. We'll have all our details up at the end of the blog, and um, otherwise, we'll definitely we'll pop back in another couple of years. I know that Anne Marie's studio at the moment is she's she's maybe planning on making some changes, but yeah. we'll, we'll keep it a bit top secret for now. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, thanks Thank again, you. and best of luck with everything. Just a small bump I'm born In four months you're brought to life you Might be left with my hair But you have your mother's eyes I'll hold your body in my hands Be as gentle as I can But for now you're scared Of my unmade plans A small bump In four months you're brought 